Greetings, we'll cover a few details about Fritz Haber and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, inventions, persona, honors, and accolades, demise. Fritz Haber, a German chemist, won the 1918 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing the Haber-Bosch process, which is used in the manufacturing industry to create ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gas. This discovery is crucial for the production of fertilizers and explosives on a massive scale. According to estimates, ammonia from the Haber-Bosch process is used in about two-thirds of the world's annual food output, which feeds roughly half the world's population. Known as Fritz Haber, famous as German chemist, invention of the Haber-Bosch process. Born December 9, 1868, Wroclaw, Poland. Died January 29, 1934, Basel, Switzerland. Father, Siegfried Haber. Mother, Paula Haber. Siblings, Else Haber Freihan. Spouse, Charlotte Nathan, Clara Immerwar. Nationality, German. Education, Technical University of Berlin, Humboldt University of Berlin, Heidelberg University, ETH Zurich. Discoveries, Inventions, Haber Process. On December 9, 1868, Fritz Haber was born into one of the long-established Jewish families of Western Poland's Wroclaw, then known as Breslau. His father, Siegfried Haber, was a well-known businessman who dealt in paints, medicines, and dye pigments. Three weeks after Fritz's birth, his mother, Paula Haber, passed away. Later, his father wed Hedwig Hamburger again. Else, Helene, and Frida were Fritz's three half-sisters from this union. Although, he had a tense connection with his father, he had a close bond with his stepmother and sisters. Fritz started his schooling at Johannium School, a primary school that accepts pupils from all denominations and religious groups. He began attending St. Elizabeth Classical School when he was 11 and graduated in 1886. He then registered to study chemistry at Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin, which is today known as Humboldt University of Berlin. He transferred to the University of Heidelberg in 1887 to further his studies with Robert Bunsen. He studied there for one semester before returning to Berlin to attend Technical College of Charlottenburg, now Technical University of Berlin, where he eventually received his diploma in 1889. He enlisted in the 6th Field Artillery Regiment in 1889 to fulfill his year of required military service. After that, he returned to Technical College of Charlottenburg to continue working on Karl Lieberman's PhD thesis. He decided to concentrate on piperonal, an organic chemical used in flavors and fragrances, on Lieberman's recommendation. He ultimately turned in his paper at Friedrich Wilhelm University and was awarded his degree in May 1891 because Charlottenburg was not yet authorized to grant PhDs. In the same year, his study was released under the title Guber Einige Derivate de Piperinals, about a few piperinal derivatives. He then began working in a number of chemical units before realizing he wanted to learn more about technical procedures. As a result, he enrolled in Polytechnic College in Zurich, now Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, where he spent one semester in 1892, studying with George Lunge. At the University of Jena, Haber began his academic career in 1892 as Ludwig Nohr's sole assistant. Because of Nohr's recommendation, Haber joined Hans Bunt at the University of Karlsruhe in 1894 after impressing him with his dynology. Haber began researching the thermal breakdown of hydrocarbons on Bunt's recommendations. His research was turned in as his habilitation thesis. Later, he was named a privatdozent and began teaching in addition to his research endeavors. He traveled throughout Europe in 1896 while researching advancements in dye science. He made a similar trip the following year, but this time he decided to research the advancement of electrochemistry, particularly the reduction of nitrobenzene. 
He kept working on several projects, after being hired, as an extraordinarius and associate professor, at the University of Karlsruhe in 1898. He engaged in the electrochemical production of several significant, organic compounds around 1904. These publications are still regarded, as significant turning points in the history of electrochemistry. He was named, Institute Director and Professor of Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry in 1906. Despite this, he carried on working on a number of other projects. Haber conducted a thorough investigation of the hydrogen-oxygen, fuel cell in 1907. He then started a groundbreaking, project on the glass electrode in 1909. The most important of them, was his creation of the, Haber process, in 1908, which allowed for the production of ammonia on a laboratory scale, from nitrogen and hydrogen gas. Haber was chosen in 1911, to serve, as the director of Berlin Kaiser Delem's Wilhelm, Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry. He signed the, Manifesto of the 93, which committed unqualified support, for the German war effort, when World War I broke out in 1914. Haber soon became, the Ministry of War's head of the chemistry section. His responsibility was to create lethal gases, that could be used in trench combat. Along with leading, the group that created these gases, he also created, a mask to protect its users. He was so enthusiastic about, this specific invention that he personally, oversaw its April 1915, release of lethal chlorine gas. He kept working for the German army in its covert chemical weapons program, after the war, from 1919 to 1923. He spent the 1920s trying, to extract gold from sea water, but he discovered that the proportion, was too little to be profitable. Nazism soon started to emerge, and by 1931, Haber started to feel unhappy about, the situation as a whole. Despite being a Jew by birth, he had long before converted, to Christianity. Additionally, he provided unmatched service to his country, during World War I. He believed that by doing all of these things, he would be seen as a patriotic German, but that was not to be. Next, he was told to fire all Jews in his capacity, as director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, for physical chemistry and electrochemistry. Haber postponed carrying out the directive, giving the scientists time to relocate. On April 30, 1933, he finally submitted, his own resignation on moral grounds. Clara Immerwar, a German chemist and the first woman, to receive a PhD in chemistry, was married to Haber on August 3, 1901. She didn't do any solo work, though, Instead, she quietly aided Haber's efforts, without expecting anything in return, which greatly upset her. Hermann was the only son the couple had. Clara killed herself on May 2, 1915, ostensibly in protest of her husband's participation with chemical weapons. Charlotte Nathan and Haber were wed on October 25, 1917. Eva Charlotte and Ludwig Fritz were the names of the couple's two kids. Conflicts plagued this marriage, as well, and it ended in divorce on December 6, 1927. Despite working in a variety of subjects, Haber is most recognized, for his work on the synthesis of ammonia utilizing gases, from the atmosphere such, as hydrogen and nitrogen. The, Haber-Bosch process, allowed, for the industrial manufacturing of fertilizers, which significantly increased agricultural output. Haber is renowned, for both the, Haber-Bosch process, and the, Born-Haber cycle, in addition to the former. The cycle created by Haber and Max Born is mostly used, to determine an ionic solid's lattice energies. The Bunsen Society of Berlin awarded, Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch the Bunsen Medal in 1918. The 1919 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, went to Haber, for the synthesis of ammonia from its ingredients. He received the Wilhelm Exner Medal, for the same invention from the Austrian Industry Association, Streichischer Gurbeverein, in 1929. He received the Rumford Medal in 1932,
from the Royal Society in recognition of his excellent contributions to physical chemistry, particularly the application of thermodynamics, to chemical reactions. The Fritz Haber Research Center, for Molecular Dynamics, located at the Hebrew University's Institute of Chemistry, was founded in 1981, by the Minerva Foundation of the Max Planck Society, and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Huji. Its goal is to encourage scientific cooperation between Germany and Israel in the area of molecular dynamics. It is not immediately evident if the Fritz Haber Library at the center is related to the SIEF, now Weizmann, Institute's eponymous library from 1936. The Max Planck Society now houses the Fritz Haber Institute, formerly known as the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry in Dahlem, a Berlin suburb which is most closely linked with his research. In August 1933, Haber departed de Lem and briefly resided in Paris, Spain, and Switzerland. Throughout these journeys, his health was at an all-time low. Haber in particular experienced angina episodes. Repeated angina attacks can leave permanent damage, which most likely had a role in his passing the following year. Heim Weizmann offered Haber, the directorship of the Seif Research Institute, now the Weizmann Institute, in Rehovit, Mandatory Palestine, in 1933, during Haber's brief stay in England. In January 1934, he accepted and set off, for the Middle East with his half-sister, Else Haber Freihan. He was overcome by his poor health and passed away in the middle of his voyage in a Basel hotel on January 29, 1934, at the age of 65, from heart failure. In accordance with his parents' wishes, Hermann arranged for Clara's remains, to be taken from Delem and reburied, with her father on January 27, 1937. On September 29, 1934, Haber was cremated and buried in Basel's Hornley Cemetery.